mild, with temperatures in double figures. I'll have the latest forecast. Driving examiners in Wales are the latest workers to walk out in a dispute over pay. Members of the Public and Commercial Services, or PCS Union, will be on strike until the 10th of January, but they're warning that the industrial action could last all the way until the summer if the government doesn't step up. Our reporter, Charanpreet Kerr, has been finding out what impact it will have on learners. Stuart Walker has been teaching people to drive for 37 years, but with driving test examiners going on strike, both he and his clients are taking the hit. As instructors, we're going to lose work. Um, for the general public, they're going to be taking time off work or um, reserving days, booking childcare, and only to find out that they can't do the course or their test, and it's going to just put the waiting list up, up and up. Those waiting lists are already high. In Wrexham, where Stuart works, the wait is around five months. Stuart also teaches lorry drivers. If they don't pass their test, they can't work. A lot of people already have jobs with the HGV training, so they've booked a week off work, they've took time off work, so it's been a huge inconvenience to them. Driving examiners are civil servants employed by the UK government in Westminster. They're being offered a pay rise of 2%, which they say is the lowest offer anywhere in the economy. Members of the PCS union want 10% to level with inflation and combat what they're calling a desperate situation. Well, our members are in despair. And I think the first thing to say is the vote for strike action was 86%. That is a historic high in the UK civil service. And it's so high because people have had 10 consecutive years where their pay rise has been less than inflation. But this year, with the cost of living crisis, with energy bills going through the roof, we are seeing in-work poverty, the likes we've never seen before. A government spokesperson said they regret the union's decisions and that their demands would cost an unaffordable £2.4 billion at a time when our focus must be on bringing down inflation. Not all tests will be cancelled and the DVSA will automatically rebook those called off because of the strikes. But the PCS union strike mandate lasts until May. And without government concessions, they plan to ramp up the scale of the disruption with each month. 